My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God.
I'm Erica, and I'm happy to welcome you to my home sweet home, Fixer Upper! <gasps> Today, we're talking about two things. Number one, forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. And number two, paint! As you can see on my ceiling, there are marks from previous residents that could definitely use some cover up. How did they, how did they get that up there? Anyway, I guess they're working on their kickboxing. Hey <laughs> My landlord, Miss Watson, hired someone to paint the place. He was supposed to be here last Wednesday, and then last Friday, and then yesterday. Three no shows. You now I could get really mad at that unreliable painter guy, or I could do the painting myself. So, first step: painters tape. Painters tape. Painters tape. Painters tape. Applying painter's tape is important because it helps keep the paint off the places you don't want paint. Don't worry, it's quick and paintless. <laughs> paintless. Let's do it. All right. I just... The... Why do they make these things so... Okay. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a close one! Wait! Oh no! Ah! Ah! This would have never happened if that painter showed up like he was oh, supposed to. But I guess I'll forgive him. As long as he apologizes first. And as long as he paints my apartment free of charge. And pays for my doctor's visit. It's up to him to make it right. Or, as you'll see in today's story, it could be that the first step in forgiveness is up to me. I think I'm gonna need a do-it-yourself sling for my arm. First step, painter's tape. Bye. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 23 and 24. Archie and Ronnie had been best friends since grade school. Archie could capture anything with a camera. See, I snapped this right when the storm was coming in. <laughs> the light is incredible. Ronnie, on the other hand, was amazing with the soccer ball. Go! How do you do that? Like 10 people were trying to take the ball away. But one thing they both loved was being outside. Ronnie was super excited when she got hired for a summer job at nearby Camp Highland. They invite all these kids who've been through really hard things to come stay for a week, and I'll get to teach them soccer and lead hikes and stuff. Wow, that's really cool. And the director said they needed a promo video to help people find out about the camp. They need people to donate money so kids can come for free. I said you could probably film the video. Uh, yeah, I bet I could do that. They'd even pay you. Really? Archie had made plenty of videos, but he never gotten paid to do it. So he decided to send the video he made of his sister's graduation straight to the camp director. He loved it. I got the job. When are you shooting the video? This weekend. It'll be outside so we can use natural lighting, but I'll need someone to run sound. I could do that. You? Just flip a switch and hold a mic, right? Well, yeah, uh, yeah OK, yeah. The day of the shoot dawned bright and clear. Archie and Ronnie drove to Camp Highland in Archie's rattle trap Honda. Sorry, it's older than I am. At the camp, they set up at the outdoor amphitheater in the forest. Wooden benches fanned out from the campfire circle. This is great. We'll get the director. Mr. Standish. Right, Mr. Standish. He can uh, stand over here for the interview. What about all the kids? Kids? Camp Highland is all about the kids. I asked Mr. Standish if a bunch of kids from last summer could come be in the video. What? No. No way, it's super hard to work with kids. They don't stand still or follow directions or- There they are! A horse? Why is there a horse? Horseback riding is the coolest thing here. I cannot believe you. But you want it to be good. Yeah, and the first rule of good film is never work with kids or animals. Oh, come on. It's not like you're making Spider-Man here. You don't know anything about film. Archie was so annoyed that he snapped at Ronnie all day. Get the boom mic out of the shot. And she snapped right back. Hello, can't you see the horse needs a break? 
By the time the shoot wrapped at sunset, Archie and Rodney were barely speaking to each other. They drove home in strange silence. Archie was sure that Ronnie would apologize when he dropped her off, but she didn't. It's all her fault. She started it. She made everything way harder. But while Archie was editing the footage, he had to admit that Ronnie's ideas had made the video a lot better. Camp Highland really is a pretty awesome place for kids who need help. Archie was so thrilled with how the final video turned out that for a moment, he forgot that he was mad at Ronnie. I can't wait to show this to her, but she still hasn't said she's sorry. Instead, Archie sent the video to Mr. Standish, who replied with a voice text. Great work! You really captured the heart of this place. I just sent your payment. Archie grinned. He'd been wanting to install a stereo in his car, and the payment would just cover it. But as he took a final look at the video... Camp Highland is so awesome. I could use some of this money to help a kid who can't afford it go to camp. I'll send part of the payment back as a gift. Archie tapped his phone, ready to send money straight back to Camp Highland, but a reminder popped up. It was a verse that he taught last week to a small group of second grade boys that he led at church. Suppose you are offering your gift, and you remember that your brother or sister has something against you. First, go and make peace with them, then come back and offer your gift. Archie sighed. It didn't matter how much he gave if he held on to anger in his heart. Ronnie was just trying to help. Taking a deep breath, Archie dialed. Hey. I'm really sorry I got mad at you. It really hurt. I know. I was wrong to snap at you like that. It wasn't an easy conversation, but when he finally hung up the phone, he was relieved to know that he had his friend back. It was as if a big weight had lifted off of his chest. As he waited for Ronnie to come over to take a look at the video, Archie clicked over to his payment app. Here it goes. It felt good now to send his gift to help kids at Camp Highland, knowing he chose to make peace first. Painter's tape can solve so many problems, people. Forgiveness can too. In fact, Jesus said you should make things right with other people before you make things right with God. Let me explain. When people turned away from God in the beginning, their relationship with Him was broken. The only way they could make things right with God was to sacrifice animals at the temple. All that changed when God sent Jesus. Jesus sacrificed His own life to make things right with God for us. We didn't have to earn it. We didn't have to pay for it. Jesus took the first step. That's what we need to do when someone has done or said something that hurts us or makes us mad. We need to take the first step to forgive. And quickly, because the longer you wait, the harder it gets to make things right. So here's the one thing to remember today. Take the first step to forgive others. Sometimes forgiveness is quick and painless. Sometimes you're going to need to ask God to help you forgive. But no matter what, it's up to you to choose to forgive the other person and wipe the slate clean. Ah! That was way easier than painting. This is fun. Until next time.